before we get into this, spoiler alert. Because I'm doing three books in a row in one video. So, buckle up. Get ready. Okay, The Titan's Curse. It is 20 chapters long and 312 pages. And it's basically about Percy finding Annabeth because she was kidnapped. And along with um, two other demigods who are found out, you know, to find out that they were demigods. Um, it's about that adventure, kind of, too. But um, in the end, um, one of the demigod children, uh, the two new ones, uh, one of them sadly sacrifices herself in order to save everybody else that is with her. Um, so, the Titan's Curse uh, is basically of everyone getting ready to go against uh, Kronos and um, so basically this was a good book and um, well actually the whole series is a good book because I finished the series Sunday and, um, yeah, <laughs> I spent a whole week reading. I finished this whole series in, like, well, I should, um, I finished it within, I finished the whole series probably within actually two weeks, maybe even close to a week, because, um, you know. I probably, uh, it, well, it probably took me a little longer than that, than a week. Um, but anyway, the Titan's Curse is basically them trying to find Annabeth along with the uh, god uh, Pan. He's the god of the wild. Because, um, yeah. But anyway, they do find Annabeth. She was okay, but she was holding up the sky, which is Atlas's job. Um, because he's the one in all mythology that holds up the sky. And, um, then Percy had to step in. But they did save Annabeth along with the, uh, goddess of the hunt, uh, Artemis. Um, and Talia Grace, uh, who is part of this little team that goes on the rescue mission, uh, joined Artemis's, uh, you know, uh, cause, I think. I guess that's how you could put it. Um, but, I mean, it's a good book, and I know that I was getting frustrated um, on the fourth book, which we'll get on to now, which is the Battle of the Labyrinth. They have to go through this maze. This maze is not just in America. It is. It doesn't move with Western civilization the way it did, the way what uh, Olympus does in this series. The labyrinth is everywhere. Like you can go on any part of the world, go underground, and bam, you're in the labyrinth. Uh, this is probably. I mean, this is a fiction book, so people, please do not go underground and try to find the labyrinth. I mean, come on, let's be sensible here. Um, but. Um, they find, uh, while they're in the labyrinth, they find out that Cronus is re resurrected. He is using Luke's body, uh, the main antagonist, uh, using his body as a vessel. Odd. It's starting to sound supernatural. <laughs> but anyway, um, but in this book, I was about to scream if Rick put uh, Percy and this Rachel girl together. Because I was really like, no, 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 do not crush my OTP. So, that's what happened in this book. <laughs> now, the very last one 
is, oh uh, God, it's like almost 400 pages. Like it's 381 pages, 23 chapters long. There is so much, I mean, it's not like gory violence, but you can tell there is violence in it. Two people die in this book, and one is a son of Hephaestus, the other is a daughter of Aphrodite. The daughter of Aphrodite was a spy, but she was uh, considered a hero. She was given a hero's burial, well, funeral pyre, and, and my OTP, Percy and Annabeth, end up together, thank God. And, um, basically, um, I thought this was, like, really fun. Well, it wasn't a fun book, because, I mean, it was, the series was fun. This book wasn't, because there was, like, so, I mean, it kind of like, almost gave me an anxiety attack from reading it so much. Well, reading it, not putting it down. And making sure if I knew everything was, you know, okay, with the fictional characters. <laughs> so, that's that for the review. On to further subjects. Um, if you can hear noise in the background, my husband's making dinner, making chicken. <laughs> but, um, on other subjects, um, I believe in October, someone can hold me wrong to this, because I'm probably wrong, but... I think in October we are getting season 12 of Supernatural. This may be the last season. Who knows? I have a feeling it's going to be the last season and I'm going to ball my eyes out. I've been watching Supernatural since season 3, but I watched seasons 1 and 2 on Netflix. Well, not on Netflix, but... um. Like when they would rerun on TNT on Channel 25 if you were from West Virginia. Um, and i been with Sam and Dean since the beginning, basically. And not when it first came out because I was 10. And, you know, Dad didn't want me to watch that kind of stuff, nor did my mom. Um, well, I shouldn't say that. I mean, my dad would let me watch The Prisoner of Azkaban, but, I mean, my mom wouldn't let me watch the Harry Potter movies. My mom's weird, but I love her. Um, but, um, yeah. Season 12 of Supernatural is probably coming out in October. Uh, for November, I will only have one video up for that entire month, because... There's a bunch of stuff going on in November. It is ridiculous. Besides Thanksgiving, besides Turkey Day, uh, which is a very important day to me because, you know, I get to eat like a bunch of food. But, um, basically, here's what's going on in November. Okay, November 4th, we have Doctor Strange coming out. I am excited. And if you all don't know why, look up the trailer and then you'll know why. Because <laughs> of the main character who's playing Doctor Strange. <laughs> um, also, um, uh, November 18th, um, Pokemon Sun and Moon come out, and also Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them comes out on the same dead on day. So, not only do I have to, not only do I get a video game, but I hopefully get to see a movie too. And I will be decked out in all my Hufflepuff stuff because Newt's Commander is a Hufflepuff. But anyway, um, and then Thanksgiving, or it's either on Thanksgiving or a few days before, or maybe a few days after, or sometime within the month of November, the Disney movie Moana is coming out. I am super excited because she is basically a heroine. She's not really, I mean... That's the way it's looking from the trailers I've seen. Um, she is basically a heroine, and I've seen the way she looks in the trailers, and she looks so 
lifelike. Like, she actually looks like a normal person, unlike these other Disney characters. I'm sorry. I mean, if you want to direct your attention to a bunch of girls, like little girls, please. I'm glad they're making Moana full-figured. Well, she looks full-figured to me. She's not stick thin. And, um, so that's in November. I only have one video up. Uh, in December, I may put two videos up. One, uh, at the beginning of the month, or at least within that week. And then the second one, uh, on my birthday, uh, which is December 22nd. So, yay! Um, so, to, um... So to review for the books, um, I, when I was actually reading these books, um, it was basically, like, I've read it, and even, like, I've read this series, I've read, you know, a bunch of other books, and I've realized, you know, it's okay to disown family members. I know that is severely frowned upon in any society, I suppose, but when you see someone that does something totally wrong and you are actually against it and you put your foot down it's like all right then i will delete you from my life so you can do that it will not kill you trust me because i mean i mean i love my family i really do I mean, I love my family a lot, and I will not speak ill of the dead, but the people that I have disowned are people I have never met in my entire life whatsoever. I will not say whose side they are on, but I disown them because of their actions, because actions speak louder than words, but yet they say the pen is mightier than the sword. But sometimes the sword is mightier than the pen. So basically, words can be louder than actions, but it can be the other way around as well. I decided to disown uh, these family members of mine years and years ago when I figured out what they actually did for, not for a living, but what, what they did, basically. I know you're not supposed to judge people as far as, you know, humanity is concerned, but sometimes you have to. You're human. You are not perfect. I am sorry. Oh, my Lord, do not, like, attack me with comments saying, like, you don't know what you're talking about. I don't care. So, if this video, you know, offend you in any way. You don't have to subscribe. You don't have to comment. Well, you can comment, but I mean, if your comment is very mean, I will totally ignore you and delete your comment, and I will not respond to you. Sorry. But I mean, you can like my videos, and you can unlike them. I mean, I don't care. I mean, and if you subscribe to me, get prepared, because I will not have a filter anymore. My last few videos, I, I mean, I was doing book reviews and introducing myself and, you know, being the polite person I am. But when some people go so far to push my buttons, I can turn very, very mean. Hard to, you know, hard to believe, isn't it? Someone so nice can put up with something for so long and then they snap. And also, in other news, next year, I do believe, in 2017, it better happen, because if I have to wait a whole nother freaking year for this series to come on back on TV, I'm going to go over to England myself, grab the director, and shake him until he can't see straight. Sherlock Season 4, hurry up. Please, I'm dying over here. 
the um well the whole fandom is dying. Come on. Hmm. This is nuts. I know we got a special just like a few months ago, but come on. Hmm. I want season four. So But like I said, it's okay to disown family members. It's okay to take toxic people out of your life. You are allowed, as a human being, you are allowed to disown, unfriend, and a bunch of other stuff to people. I mean, I do not, I mean, don't murder people. Let's be civil. Don't murder people over something stupid and petty. But if this reason that you were disowning or unfriending this person is not stupid and petty, then disown them and unfriend them. But if they go so far to where you do want to hurt them, please seek help. Because violence is not the answer. I do not care what anyone else says in this world. Violence is not the answer. It never has been. It never will be. I mean, look, look what happens when you promote violence. Look what happens if you watch the news, you know, if you, if you are keeping up with the news. Look what happens. I mean, it's ridiculous. It's bedlam. I mean, come on. So, be nice to one another. I know it's easier said than done. But, I mean, if you have to go as far to disowning the living, I mean, that's your choice. And if their decisions, like, if, those, if that person's decision is to be a major, um, uh, a major, oh, what's the word I'm looking for? Uh, I wouldn't say narcissistic, but I mean, you can actually disown narcissistic people because narcissistic people are very full of themselves, literally. But, um, yeah, I mean, like I said, it's okay. I mean, if you want to disown someone that's actually living, by all means, go ahead. I mean... There's only so much, like I said, before someone snaps and decides to really take it out on somebody, but don't take it out on people. Take it out, you know, if you, if you want to vent to someone, vent to a family member you trust or a friend you trust. Don't vent to someone that's going to, you know, be like, oh, yeah, I won't tell anybody, but then turns around and, say, and you know, tells their family and their friends uh, about what you said. That kind of person, not reliable, not trusting, don't, like, just get rid of that. Don't trash. Pit. So, if you like what I'm doing, like, subscribe, comment, please. And I will see you all, not this week, but some other time. So, stay happy, be nice, love each other, don't commit murder, please don't. And, um, you know, try to find peace within yourself. Because if you don't find peace, you're going to, it's going to ruin you. Sorry. So, I will see you all, lovely people, next time.